Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today we've been invited to the zoo to go ahead and help them find their animals because apparently last night every single one of the animals escaped and the villagers are waiting to get in so let's go make our way through and let's go see what they want us to do. I have a feeling everything we need is right inside this chest. Ah perfect and we have loads of spawners today but let's go see what this book says. Hello Navid, we need a huge favour. We have guests waiting outside to see their new zoo. But someone left the gate open last night and all the animals escaped. Help us populate the zoo again. Ah, that explains why we have all these spawners. This is going to be awesome. So I'm going to take out every single one. And once we're done, we can go ahead, open the gates, and all the villagers can go ahead and check out what's going to be inside the zoo. But as of right now, every single one of the mobs are getting really angry. So let's go and start spawning some of our wonderful items. I'm going to start with this little compound right around here. So if we go inside... Close the door behind us and let's get spawning the gazelle, which is a definitely in a rightful biome. But guys, before we spawn anyone else, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to Annie as well as William for being members of this channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. And guys, I think the gazelle would love it so much if every single one of you went down below and pressed the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. And then you'll never miss another update video ever again. I think that would be perfect. Well, let's go and find a friend for this gazelle because we can't leave it by itself. I'm going to go ahead and give it, let's do... So we got an emu, which I think is going to be perfect. And let's spawn this as a wonderful friend. There we go! Hopefully now they can both roam around and enjoy themselves. And the emu looks so cool. These Alex mobs are going to be the best mobs ever. This zoo is going to be so cool. But we haven't finished yet. Let me go ahead and spawn the Capuchin monkey, which I'm going to do right here. And hopefully you enjoy roaming in the trees. I think it's going to be so crazy. But I think they're getting hungry. So very soon we have to go ahead and find them some food. I think three mobs is definitely perfect for this wonderful compound. So let me go ahead, let's get out of here, and let's go ahead to the next one, which I think is going to be great. Should we go ahead and do the ice one? I think this is going to be so crazy. But I'm not really sure what to spawn. So let's go ahead, and let's go and see what we can spawn in here. Okay, I think we can go ahead and do the snow leopard, which is definitely going to be perfect. Let's do the grizzly bear because it's probably used to the cold weather. And then the seal. And then we can go ahead and probably figure out what we can do later. But as of right now, let's just go ahead and do these four, including the moose. And then we can go ahead and do the rest. Let me spawn the snow leopard, which hopefully won't eat the other mobs. And perfect! There we have it. Hopefully it'll leave us alone as well. If it kills us, it'll be so sad. And let's spawn the grizzly bear. And there we go. It looks so cute. <laughs> it doesn't look violent whatsoever. But I think it is getting mad. It is trying to call us to leave it alone. And let's also spawn the seal, which is going to go ahead and love this wonderful biome. See, it's loving the snow. This is perfect. And let me go ahead and do the moose, which I think is going to be great. There we go. Hopefully they will all live together and they won't go ahead and harm themselves. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me go ahead and spawn the rest. And hopefully the villagers are ready once we go ahead and open up the doors. Let me try and do some birds. I'm going to do the crow right around here. That is perfect. But it's going to fly away now and choose his own biome. And how about we do the shoe bill? Perfect. I think this guy's going to be so crazy. And hopefully it doesn't fly away. I think he's going to love this place very much. And if we go ahead and find a swimming pool, we should be able to go ahead and spawn the orca. And then later on, we can go ahead and check out the monster coaster, which is going to be pretty crazy. I think the swimming pool is right through here. Well, let's head inside. Let me go and spawn the orca right around here. And perfect. And there we go. <laughs> yes, he loves it. But the orca is probably going to go ahead and eat some other fish if we go ahead and spawn them. So we're going to have to go ahead and make sure we don't spawn too many mobs inside one. And I think this is the jacuzzi, which is so warm. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Well, let's not stop here. And let me go ahead and spawn a few other items. I'm going to take out the hummingbird. Let's do the shark as well then, the bald eagle, and then I think we also have a blobfish, a hammerhead shark, 
And then we can do a platypus as well, but we can probably spawn it out of the water. And then we can go ahead and do the rest. But as of right now, I think these are the only ones we can probably go ahead and do. Perfect. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and spawn every single one of these right inside this area. Hey, get inside the water. <laughs> That's such a crazy mob. Let me do the hummingbird right around there. And perfect. Can you guys hear it? It sounds so cool. And I think the orca is slowly by slowly getting himself back in the water. Perfect. Let me do the frilled shark. And perfect. And we've got to make sure we stay away from this one. As soon as we get close, it's probably going to go ahead and try and eat us. And I'm going to spawn the bald eagle right around here. Because as it's a bird, it doesn't really matter where we spawn it. And then, let me do the blobfish. <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks well too cool. If we head under, we can go ahead and check them all out. Ah, oh, this is awesome. I think the villagers are going to love this very much. Okay, let me do the hammerhead shark, which is going to be perfect. And then we can do the platypus. That he can probably go ahead and enjoy himself in the water as well. There we go. <laughs> Look how cute he looks. And let's spawn a few more friends like the crocodile. And perfect. And let's do the lobster. And then finally, the alligator snapping turtle. There we go. <laughs> hopefully now they can all live together. And hopefully they don't attack each other, which I think they're doing okay. Now, the turtle is destroying every single one of them. Okay, we're about to figure out if they're all going to die. But I guess that's life inside the wild. So let's get out of here and let's go and spawn a few more Alex mobs. I think so far these have been so cool. But in the meantime, I think we should check out the monster coaster. Because I think this is going to be really cool. So we head inside. We jump on the roller coaster. We press this button. And it'll take us into a wonderful room. Oh, this is supposed to be a horror room. And thankfully, we're going to stay inside the minecart. If anything happens to us, we're probably going to die. And we're going to be eaten. Ah, evil slimes. That's so intense. But I think so far, they're taking us into different rooms to try and show us exactly what it's like. Thankfully, there are no skeletons. I hate skeletons so much. But I think it's going to take us back down through a different route. Let's go see what's going to happen. Ah, I was going to push us off the roof. <laughs> We're flying. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad we landed in the safe spot. And there we go. The coaster is now done. That was so fun. But we still got so many mobs to go ahead and do. Let me just take out every single one and let's start spawning them around. I'm probably going to have to find another little area to go ahead and do this. So let me go ahead. Let's head inside this biome and let's start spawning some of these mobs. I think this is going to be great. So we open the door. And let me go ahead and spawn the gorilla, which I'm going to do right around here. I'm perfect. <laughs> Look at this guy. I think he's trying to escape. No, nope, don't you dare escape. Okay, I think we're safe. Let's do the leaf cutter ant. That's probably going to go ahead and start chopping down this tree. Where's he going? No, stay here. <laughs> they all want to leave. And for some reason, obviously, the ant can climb anything. Let me do... Let's do the crimson mosquito right around here, which I'm a little bit scared of. And run! Ah! It's sucking our blood! <laughs> this is awful! We're probably going to have to go ahead and smack it off us before it consumes all of us. Ah! Get this off us! There we go. Oh, thank goodness. But I can still hear it. There must be other ones around. This is so awful. Let me do the mimic octopus right around here. And cool! So we'll go ahead and live on land as well as the ocean. And it will start changing colors and blending with its surroundings. That is well too scary. You don't want to be surrounded by this guy. Let's also do the tiger, which looks so cute as well. And then the fly. Ah, another one that's bitten us. He's grabbing hold. <laughs> that's crazy. Villagers, maybe you don't want to go inside. These mobs are well too intense. Okay, let's spawn the fly, which is a wonderful creature and hopefully doesn't kill us. Okay, I think we're good. And let's also do the elephant, which I'm going to spawn inside this one over here. Hopefully, this is a good little spot. If I spawn inside this one that is completely empty, I think we should be safe. Let's go inside. Let's head inside this one. And let's spawn the elephant. Perfect! This is one of the biggest creatures we're probably going to go ahead and do. And let me spawn a friend for him like the Komodo dragon. And then the kangaroo. No! Why is it trying to attack us? It's attacking everything. Okay, let's get out of here. I've just realized I've probably left both of those doors open. And all those animals can escape. And I think some of the villagers are already making their way through. So let's let them all in. And we can finish off some of our wonderful mobs. Let me take out the rest. 
And I think I'm just going to spawn them around. Let me go ahead and do the Kakachu whale, which I'm going to do right inside here, which I think should be enough space. Whoops, it's well too big. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hopefully, it will go ahead and figure out a wonderful spot for itself. But sadly, it's massive. I didn't realize how big it was going to be. But I don't think it would even fit inside the other pool. So I think we're safe. Let me spawn the raccoon right around here as well as a roadrunner friend, and then a guster. Ah, what is that thing? Okay, that's not supposed to be in there. I think the villagers have messed up. <laughs> and it's trying to go ahead and consume us. Let's run away, and let me go ahead and spawn the Tasmanian devil, which I'm going to spawn right around here. Perfect. I think this one's going to be awesome. And I think he's already trying to escape. Let me spawn the rattlesnake. And then finally, the cave centipede. <gasps> that is another massive creature. No wonder they left the gates open. I think the one that did is gone ahead and been eaten by one of those evil monsters. Maybe we need to go ahead and start closing things down. Well, guys, today's been really cool. And someone's already eaten all the mobs, which is pretty sad. And hopefully we can go ahead and open up this zoo and everyone can enjoy it. So, guys, until then, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below button is red and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.